Uh, hey, let's go, baby! Number 180! Let's go! Alright. Yo, what's going on, guys? It's Shock with DG, and in today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys some tips for each and every rank in Rainbow Six Siege, all the way from Copper up to Champion. Now, really quickly before the video starts, if you guys enjoyed the video, I would really appreciate a sub. I do videos like this every other day, as well as gameplay videos. I'm on the daily upload grind, so if you guys would, I really would appreciate any likes, comments, and subscriptions on this video. It really does help me out. Anyways, on to the ranks and the tips. So how I'm going to be doing this video is I'm going to be giving you guys a few tips for each of the ranks all the way up until Diamond and Champ, which I'm going to be giving you guys tips for as well still. But I'm going to kind of be lumping them together because I feel as if Diamond and Champ is basically the exact same thing. So the, for the very first rank we have, we have Copper, of course, where we're starting from the bottom and working our way up. So for the first rank, we have Copper. Now, most people, if they're copper, they're probably new to the game, they just picked it up, or maybe they're new to FPS games in general, or maybe they're new to you know, PC or just gaming, something like that. Most people who have experience with Siege, or at least with FPS games or PC games, or, or even if you're just like a gamer in general, won't hit copper. Now, sorry to those of you who aren't new and you are copper. I've got some tips for you guys, but I would say most people who are copper are probably just new. So what I would recommend you do either way is to just play some unranked and watch a lot of tips and tricks videos. A lot of these tips and tricks videos are going to give you guys some pointers to help you out. But what you really need is to get in game and practice, practice, practice. Chances are you're new, like I said, and you really don't know much about the game. So you just need to go into Unranked and grind it out and learn as much as you possibly can. Tips and tricks videos are going to be great to help you learn some things here and there. But most of the time, it's going to be a whole bunch of information when you're just starting out. It's going to be a lot to learn and a lot to remember. So I'd recommend play some unranked, not ranked. That way you're not ruining your rank and just practice. Next up is bronze. So, you know, the bronze players are, you know, maybe some of them are still a little bit new to the game. Maybe not. Maybe they just haven't played Siege before, or, you know, something like that. Not everybody, but I I'd say some of them. So I think here it's just you need to try to play together more and use communication. Uh, I think a lot of people in the lower ranks don't really communicate all that often, or if they do, they've got the wrong callouts, or they're picking the wrong operators and things such as that. So even if there is communication, it's it's like false callouts, and no one really knows what's going on. I think it's just a bit chaotic because you know a lot of these people, they're not going to be you know that good at the game, or they're not going to be that experienced. Maybe they're a little bit new, as I said, so they really don't know like the exact calls, or if one person knows that call, maybe another person doesn't. You know stuff like that. So I think it's really important to work on callouts and just try to have really good communication and teamwork and also using your utility properly. You know, knowing where to reinforce, knowing where to put barbed wire, knowing where to put your ADSs, your mute jammers, just things like that. I think if you can start to work on those things, it's really going to push you to that silver gold rank really, really quickly. And you can also just watch a lot of tips and tricks videos for any of these ranks that you're at. You know, watching tips and tricks videos is a great thing that you could do to help improve your rank. Next up is silver. Most silvers are going to have at least some experience with the game. They've probably been playing for a decent amount of time. They're starting to have a good understanding of how the game flows and exactly what happens in a round and things such as that. I think probably the game sense is still lacking compared to the higher ranks for sure, but they at least understand the concept of the game and what's happening for the most part. But I would say most silvers probably don't have great mechanical skill yet. So I would recommend you start to watch some aim training videos or things like that. Find a good sensitivity and start practicing your aim. Because I feel like at silver, what's really going to push you farther is having that good aim. Just being able to out aim people is really going to help you out a lot. I know that this game is not all about aiming, but it is still an FPS game. And you're going to need to have at least decent mechanical skill so that you can hit those higher ranks. So I think if you're silver right now, some of the things you should start to work on is just improving your aim and your mechanical skill practicing that a lot and just trying to play with a five stack if you can and just see where you go from there next up is the gold rank so i think a lot of golds have a problem where they either don't know when to play aggressive or don't know when to play passive like they either do one or the other 
like i often see golds play like really really passive on attack where they're just like sitting outside on the roof holding an angle or like i don't know just sitting in spawn or, or droning way more than they need to and like they're really afraid to push anything i think the problem here is that they really don't know what to do and there's not much teamwork or communication or like coordination so i think that's a big part of it but then there's the other half of the other golds who they'll play like super aggro where they're also just kind of lost. They don't want to be that guy who's like called out for baiting outside. So they just like rush in and be super aggro. And I think both of these cases are going to end up making you lose the round more often than not, which is going to end up making you stay in gold. Because if you're sitting outside all rounds on attack, you know, you're not going to win that round. You know, chances are you probably lose unless your teammates can clutch up for you. And if you're just rushing in, dying first every time, you know, again, chances are you're probably going to lose that round. So I think a big problem that golds have is just playing way too passive or way too aggressive, which is really costing their team. So I think you need to figure out exactly what you need to be doing in a round. So maybe watch some pro league, see how an attacking round folds out, see how the pro league players are playing on attack and on defense, and just kind of go from there. Next up is the platinum rank. So I think most plats have like a decent understanding of the game and like a somewhat decent mechanical skill, but still have that issue where they play way too passive or way too aggressive. But I think there's also a big lack of communication and teamwork as well, you know, because at plat you're running into a lot more five stacks. So if you're solo queuing or you know trio queuing duo queuing and you go up against a five stack it's going to be really difficult for you to win that it's certainly possible but it's going to be so much more difficult especially if you guys don't have good communication and coordination and just teamwork in general at plat you're going to be running into a lot of people a lot more people who are actively trying to rank up compared to those lower ranks such as gold silver bronze copper so in this rank it's going to be really important that you start to queue with more people if you can i think it's going to be really important for you to queue with as many people as you can and just try to reach that higher rank i also think that a lot of plats for some reason gets like a little bit of an ego over their rank they think that they hit plats so they're better than you know whoever because they're no longer the average rank they're now you know slightly above average in terms of rank so I, I think a lot of people let that get to their heads and that's not all plats you know I'm, I'm sure there's a lot of people watching this video who are plat and are nothing like that but for those of you know you that are like that it's really important that you learn to take criticism because if if you just disregard what anyone says it's going to be really hard to improve you know everyone makes mistakes even the even the diamonds the champions you know the pro players everyone makes mistakes so it's really important to learn to take that criticism and just learn that you need to learn from your mistakes and improve off of that so for diamond and champ you know if you're hitting either of these ranks chances are you're probably not even watching this video but you know if you are trying to hit those ranks maybe you're plot you're getting close to diamond or your diamond for your first time or whatever and you're trying to hit champ you know i think that the most important thing for hitting either of these ranks just comes down to five stacking and then you know everything else that i said before so having decent you know at least decent mechanical skill at least decent understanding of the game and like game sense but for the most part it's just going to be about five stacking like at the end of the day in the in the high ranks who wins is determined on like who makes the least amount of mistakes in a round or just in the game in general so i think a big part of hitting diamond and champ or going from diamond to champ is really just five stacking so i'd highly suggest that you guys find at least two other friends to play with that way you're trio stacked but if you're in this elo it's so so important that you find a good five stack i promise you guys it's the absolute best way to rank up no matter what rank you are but that's going to be all for the video. If you guys enjoyed, I really would appreciate the subscription. As I said earlier, it really does help me out. And a like on the video, it really, really does help. But that's going to be all for me. If you guys want more videos like this, I have a tips playlist. It's linked in the description below. Along with my Discord, if you guys have any questions, and my Twitch channel. Those two are the best places to ask those questions. But as always, guys, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a good day.